Okay, let us go for question number 42. A cylindrical container is to be made from certain material with the following constraints. It has a fixed inner volume of V millimeter cube, has a 2 millimeter thick solid wall and is open at the top, correct. The bottom of the container is a solid circular disc of thickness 2 mm and is of radius equal to the outer radius of the container, correct. So, we actually have a disc of 2 mm thickness and something mounted on it in cylindrical shape. If the volume of the material used is minimum, when the inner radius of the container is 10 mm, then the value of V upon 250 pi is. So, we can start it like. Now, this cylindrical vessel has thickness of 2 millimeter. So, like this. Volume is to be minimum, volume of the material used. It is given to me capital V, it is say pi r square h where h is the height and r is the inner radius right this one is given to me 2 millimeter similarly for the lower part the thickness is 2 correct so we can consider let's say volume v1 the required one it will be pi r plus 2 whole square into h that is with respect to the outer surface fine minus pi r square h with respect to the inner surface correct plus the base base is 2 millimeter thick so it is a cylindrical disc we can say it is pi r plus 2 whole square into 2. This is to be minimized. So, simply differentiate it with respect to the radius r. We can replace h from the given constraint h equals v upon pi r square and then differentiate with respect to r in order to minimize. Fine. So, first let us replace h pi h can be written as v upon pi r square. The remaining term inside these two brackets simply 4 r plus 4 plus 2 pi r plus 2 whole square. Differentiating v 1 with respect to r, we get 4 v multiplied with minus 1 by r square minus 2 by r cube plus 4 pi r plus 2. We are looking for the point of minima. So, let us put this derivative to 0 when we take its second derivative, this becomes plus, plus and plus. So, definitely whatever point we are going to obtain, that is the point of minima. It is given to me, it is minimum at r equals 10. So, substituting r equals 10, we get 4 v multiplied with 1 by 100 plus 2 by 1000 is equal to 4 pi into 12. We cancel this 4 simplifying we get 10 by 1000 plus 2 by 1000 that is 12 by 1000 is equal to 12 pi correct. So, this is v multiplied with 12 by 1000 is equal to 12 pi. 12 is cancelled we are looking for the value of v divided by 250 pi correct. So, rearranging we have v upon 250 pi is equal to 4. So, the required answer is 4. We cancelled 12, we kept this 250 here in denominator, pi taken in denominator. So, this result is 4. So, in this order, we can find this question of maxima and minima. Let us move to the next one that is question number 43.
Okay, let us take question number 43 which is from permutation and combination. Let n be the number of ways in which 5 boys and 5 girls can stand in a queue in such a way that all the girls stand consecutively in the queue. Let m be the number of ways in which 5 boys and 5 girls can stand in a queue in such a way that exactly 4 girls stand consecutively in the queue. Then we have to find the value of m by n. Let us start it. It is given n number of ways such that all 5 girls sit consecutively. So, when we are planning this case, so obviously we can say all 5 girls are one object. So, total number of objects it is 6, simply it is 6 factorial multiplied with those 5 girls can be arranged in factorial 5 ways. This 6 is for one object of all girls plus 5 boys correct this 5 factorial is for rearrangement of 5 girls right similarly next part is m what it says it says number of ways such that exactly 4 girls stand consecutively so first job select 4 girls out of 5. Once we select 4 girls out of 5, we can say we have 2 objects, one object of all 4 girls and one object the single girl, but these 2 are different one. So, can be arranged in 2 factorial ways, right. Now, we are planning for gap method, 5 boys arranged in 5 factorial ways, between these 5 boys we find 6 gaps. Out of these 6 gaps, we can select 2 positions in 6 C2 ways. We have already arranged 2 factorial. Now, 4 girls, the objects can be arranged in 4 factorial ways. So, this is the required number m. I repeat, 5 C4, we selected 4 girls into 6 C2, we selected 2 gaps. Into 4 factorial, arrangement of girls into 5 factorial arrangement of boys into 2 factorial arrangement of those 2 objects one of 1 girl and other of 4 girls. So, the required number which is m by n it is 5 c 4 into 2 into 5 factorial into 6 into 5 upon 2 into 1 into 4 factorial divided by n that is 6 factorial into factorial 5. We can see 5 factorial is cancelled out correct. We can see 4 factorial into 5 into 6 becomes 6 factorial. So, this entire term is cancelled with this one, this 2 is cancelled with this 2, we are left with simple term 5. So, correct answer is 5. So, required number m by n is 5. Let us move to the next one that is question number 44. 